All right. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alex with VidSwap.com from Pixelot. So today, I want to take you guys through what we offer for basketball. I'm really excited about what we've got. And I'm experimenting right now with this new live feature, being able to broadcast on all these platforms, all these different social places and buckets so that we can connect with everybody. So I'm live across the, the atmosphere here, so to speak, right? The, the social atmosphere. All right. So again, my name is Alex, and I'm actually the co-founder of VidSwap.com. So I founded VidSwap.com 15 years ago, a long time ago. And we started it with a vision. We had a dream that I wanted to be able to help coaches. I wanted to be able to give them back their time. Because if you know anything about me, you know that I was a coach myself. I was a player. So I played arena football for a number of years. I played college football. In fact, this background that you see right here, this is one of my new backgrounds. This was a picture that my dad took when I was uh, the quarterback for the Spokane Shock. So right here, that's me. Back in 2006, we were playing the, the Bakersfield Blitz in front of a packed crowd of about 10,000 plus people in Spokane, Washington. And so that's kind of where I got my start. And then I was a I was a high school offensive coordinator for over 15 years. So through all that time, uh, early on, I had decided there's got to be a better way to be able to take video to be able to use it and teach your players to save time to get all these things out of it that as coaches we want to be able to do right and so being kind of a tech geek myself i knew that there's got to be a better way so we we started this company basically out of our our basement and then started to chug away right and for 15 years we finally got to where we are now so what i want to do right now is i'm going to flip the screen around i'm going to show you a, a deck of a lot of the great things that that we're talking about that we are that we represent so i'm going to flip this around here All right. So I already talked about who I am. So again, we've been around for 15 years. That's the, the most important thing that I want people to know is that we're not new, right? We've been around for 15 years. We've been doing this a long time. And so this last year, we were acquired by Pixelod. So again, we started this company, we bootstrapped it, we built it to where it is today. And then when the market really shifted into a lot more of this automated production using artificial intelligence, we were acquired by Pixelot. And it was an amazing opportunity to now be a part of a much bigger vision that we had always had of how much more we can help coaches, not just now from an analytical perspective of teaching their players, but now saving time from getting the video right? Getting that video recorded, which is a pain in the butt. We all know that, right? And then getting it into the system so we can actually use it and getting high quality video because that's a problem, right? Across the world, being able to capture high quality video and then get that in so I can use it, right? So you can use it. So coaches can use that. And so now I'm the VP of analytics for Pixelot. And I run everything that's coaching related and how we use video for coaches. And so really our mission is to save coaches over 150,000 hours this year. And so again, I started this company 15 years ago because, you know, I wanted to help coaches be more productive. I wanted to help save them time. I wanted to revolutionize the way that coaches were using video even more than they are now. 
but we wanted to keep it affordable. I want to help coaches be able to get the tools that they need and save money and save time. Because that's a pain point, right? Pain point of things are too expensive, costs are rising, and we have to be very conscientious of that, right? Of our budgets. What can we afford that's going to give us enough in return to be able to accomplish our mission? And so what are we talking about? There's really a couple of things here. It's automating everything that you're doing and integrating that so that it's easy. Because look, if something's not easy, you're not going to use it. And we know coaches, right? We're, we're like old dogs. We just, we don't know how to learn new tricks sometimes. And sometimes we don't want to learn new tricks, right? But it's human nature to you get into habits, to get into things that you want to do, and you don't want to change that, right? That's just normal. So if you're going to make a change, it's got to be an easy change. And it's got to be fast, right? So in this day and age, we coaches, we, may, we wear multiple hats. We're wearing six different hats. We're moms, we're dads, we're coaches, we're teachers, we're administrators. Maybe we're business owners. We've got all these things that we do, right? And with so many hats that we're wearing, if the tools we're using doesn't fit into that daily workflow, then we're not going to use it. We're just not, right? And as a, as a former coach myself, I love being able to help players. I love being able to, to coach players. We don't get paid enough as coaches, but we don't choose to coach to get paid. We choose it because we love helping kids. We love helping those kids be able to learn the game and to be able to become young men, young women, right? Great individuals, great people, right? That they can grow up to aspire to be. And so really now there's, there's three core things we're talking about. So the first piece is we're solving that coaching part, right? We're automating all that video. We're automating the, the video coming from the pixel cameras into the system. And we're minimizing the amount of work. So a coach doesn't have to do a bunch of work filming, manually, uploading, downloading, all those things that we traditionally are used to having to do. So we're automating that whole part of the process, making it easy. You don't have to worry about a filmer. And then when a video gets up, imagine being able to wake up the next morning and the game is completely broken down. So it's completely statted within a four to an eight hour window. So you know that when you play a game on a Friday night, you wake up that next day and it's done. And you can start to dive into it, start to use it. You've got your stats, you've got your analytics, everything that you need. And then you can also add additional edits to it. So if you want to be able to do additional custom breakdowns, tagging, you have that power. You can tag it as much extra things as you want to be able to. Now, the second piece is the, the broadcasting. So being able to stream this and broadcast. So this is a new era, right? The era of COVID has made us realize we have to be able to stream. And it's become a priority because if we can't get butts in the seats, then we've got to be able to stream and still get the game out there, whether it's to family, to friends, to fans, to alumni, to everybody. The more that we can get the game out, the more that we can share that with everybody, the better. And then lastly, it's replay. So certainly Football coaches have really leaned heavy on using replay, of being able to use video during the game on the sideline. And, and that's huge, right? I can tell you as a football coach myself, being able to have an iPad in my hand and pull up the last play to show my quarterbacks so they can understand what read we missed, what we're looking for, how we can improve on the next play. It's so huge. And now we're starting to see other sports are starting to take interest in this basketball coaches wanting to be able to use it, right? Hockey coaches, volleyball coaches, soccer coaches, all these other sports are now starting to learn how they can use video live during games. So in our system, 
you have the ability to be able to share with anybody. Because one of the biggest questions that we get is, all right, Alex, if we use you, can I still share with any other school that I need to if they're on a different system? Right? Because there's certainly other, there's competition out there, right? There's other companies that people use that you want to be able to still share video with. And I want to be able to give you that. I want to give you the tools to do that. And you can, you can send links out to anybody that you need to and set expirations on that. So you can still facilitate that sharing of a game. Now, automated exchange. Let's talk about what this means. This, this in my opinion, is really where the future is headed for, for everything. So I want you to imagine, imagine a world that every court you walk into, every field you walk into is going to have a pixel hot camera. Your game is going to be automatically recorded, broken down and statted for you. So now no matter where you go, you don't have to do a thing. And then on your iPad, you can see it on your computer. You've got almost instant access to anything you want to look at, any play, any situation, any player, any statistic, everything at the touch of a button. And then in addition to that, we can now start to open up the ability to scout your opponents much easier. Now, certainly, this is something we've been doing at the professional and the college levels for a long time. The high school levels, though, we don't do it so much. The, for football, we do. But for all these other sports, not as much as we could. And it makes sense, right? At the high school level, we don't really know what we're getting. We don't know who's doing what. So you got to have checks and balances, right? So that you're not giving out too much, not knowing what you're going to get back. But if we have pixel -like cameras in every location, now we know that every game is going to get recorded and put up. So now we can level the playing field and we can democratize the video access for everybody. So now nobody's got to be afraid of having access to any game in their conference, their district, their region, or their entire state, because everything is there for you and any other team that you're playing to be able to see. And so now everybody can start to leverage that the power of that to get so much more out of it. It's like what Google has done for us, right? Your ability to go on to Google and search for whatever you need is hugely powerful and super simple and easy, right? If we didn't categorize all of those things, right? Um, have all of that data in there for Google to be able to to index for us, to be able to search for, then Google's pointless, doesn't do us any good, right? So imagine having Google for sports video at the high school level, college level, pro level, all of that, right? Being able to look for whatever you need as a coach to teach your players and win more, right? To be more effective, to get more done, to have more time to spend with your family, to have more time to spend with your partner, to have more time to do all these other things in life that we want to do too, right? Now, we've also got, we give you the ability to upload all your video. So you can take all your games you've had, keep them in the system because that's valuable. That's important to you. You want to have your past seasons. You want to have your games that you can use and coach from. Now, I'm going to show you an example here. So... I want you to imagine now, this is a, a quick little screenshot video of, imagine that you played a game on a Friday night and this is this whole, the rest of these slides here are gonna be basketball specific. I'm talking about basketball today because we're, we're in the season of basketball right now. Uh, a lot of high school basketball has really kicked off and we're in the, the heat of that. And so you're watching this, imagine you, you played a game on a Friday night and the pixel -like camera automatically film the game, goes into the system, 
So when you wake up the next morning, now you can click and filter for any play that you need to. You've got access to every time Johnny had a shot. You can look at every set play that you ran, every out of bounds play that you had, every turnover that Mike had, everything at your fingertips fast. Now let's cover what we break down in basketball. So we have two levels. We have a basic level of what we do and an advanced level. And our basic level is what we do for everybody. It's what we do for all of our youth, high school, uh, small college, right? And then when we get into um, college, professional, around the world, then we start doing the advanced breakdown. And so in basketball, we're breaking everything down by the period of the quarter, the possessions, right? So the team, the set play, the out of bounds plays, the transition to second chances, we're tagging the defense that's being run against the possessions. We're tagging every shot and everything about the shot. So the team, the athlete who had the shot, the type of shot, the result of the shot, the defender on that shot. We're charting the location of it on a chart. We're tagging all those rebounds, offense, defense, total, the assists on shots, on points the turnovers by teams and athletes and the type of turnover that it is, the steals and the blocks by teams and athletes, the fouls, and then we tag the playing minutes. So how many minutes players are in the game? And then from there, we're creating all the statistics that you guys need. So you're going to get certainly all the box scores of the teams and players and a bunch of additional advanced analytics like points by possession, your pace, your usage, your plus minuses, right? Four factors, all that other extra stuff too that you want to be able to get on top of that basic box score. And then when we do advanced breakdowns for our higher levels, we, we've even got high schools. There's high schools that are interested in this, that are doing this. So this isn't just for the higher levels. We're tagging all of the individual plays. So those, those screens and pick and rolls, all those individual actions that are happening. And then we're tagging the team, the players, the locations of those, what's happening on those. So a whole bunch, a whole wealth of information then that you're going to get by the time you wake up next morning. And if this is being used across an entire district, conference, league, state, now you've got access to all this data, all these filters and situations on all of your opponents. Now, the next step of this is being able to create highlights. So as a coach, you wake up the next morning, you want to be able to put together a film session, put together five plays that you can use in a session to teach your players faster. And this allows you to do that. Pull out five plays when you wake up the next morning. You can add drawings, telestrations, spotlights. So in 10 minutes, you've now got a session that you can use to teach your players or send to them. Now, here's another really cool feature that we've got coming out where on top of these highlights, your players will be able to make highlight packages so they can use our advanced graphics to plop those in there, make them look really cool, really professional. So then they can post these on social media and or send them off to other college or pro coaches. And this is kind of a silly example that we've got here. Now, another hugely important thing is being able to really teach and engage your players. Because as a coach, we know that players really don't know how to watch video. They just don't and their attention spans are getting smaller and smaller. I've got two kids. I've got an 11-year-old and an 8-year-old. And so um, it's even more evident, right, with, with these younger kids, how small their attention spans really are, right? So the smaller, more edible bites that we can give them, consumable bites, right, small packages that we can give them, the easier that it is for them to take that information in and learn it. And so this feature here is imagine that, Again, you woke up the next morning, you picked out five plays, you sent it directly to your guards, and then you said, hey, guys, take a look at these plays and tell me what you think. What do you see? 
So now you're having a virtual session inside of this, engaging with them, getting them to respond, to see this, to comprehend it, right? You can add those telestrations to it. And then the best part of this now is you have a report on every review that you send out that shows you how much your players are actually looking at it. So you can hold them accountable for doing their assignment on a daily or weekly basis. We've also got an editor. And a really important thing is for many of you, you wanna be able to go in and custom edit out plays, sections, pieces of video, maybe add custom data and, or maybe it's practice video. So imagine you've got a Pixlock camera in the gym and you had practice, you go home, the video is automatically now in your account, you log in and you go to the editor and you can tap a few keys, code out maybe the five big things from practice that you need to then send your players and say, hey guys, take a look at these five things from practice and then let's be ready to go for tomorrow. Our mobile apps are really huge. They're great. It's probably the most common area that our users are interacting with the system. And so we have iPad, iPhone, uh, Android apps. And so what you're seeing here is imagine that you're in the app, you can pinch to zoom into it. You can slow the feed down. You can change the frame around. You can draw on screen with your finger. So imagine as a coach, right? You're you're plugged into a projector or TV and you're using this in front of your players, right? It's a great teaching tool. You can click filter for other plays. So the filters that we talked about earlier are here in the app as well. And then imagine that maybe you're on a bus, maybe you're in a hotel room, maybe you're in a, a classroom that doesn't have great internet. All the video games, the highlights, the reviews, everything that you have access to, you can download into the app and take with you offline. We have a full set of playbook tools. So you can go in and build your own set plays, uh, drop whatever types of things you need then to teach your players to collaborate and communicate what you need. We've got a full set of shot charts. So three different visualizations of regions of where these shots are coming from, the success rates, a color coded plot chart, and then a heat map version. So really cool different ways to visualize this data and what's happening. A full set of statistics for teams and players. And you can see full season stats our newest feature that's coming out here is the leaderboard. And what this is going to do is when you go into your stats area, you'll be able to see an automated leaderboard of all the top performers in, on your team in every category. And if you're part of a, a conference, a league, a district, a, a state, you'll be able to see these leaderboards across the entire state, right? Really cool, really powerful. And then on top of it, you'll be able to click on these stats and see the clip, see the video, see the highlights of each one of these leaders. Now, lastly, replay. You heard me talk about this earlier. Imagine being on the bench having your iPad and being able to pull up video from the Pixelot camera and then use that to make adjustments during the game. So as a head coach, certainly you're not going to be on the iPad, but you're, you're up, you're moving around, you're coaching, you're talking to your kids, but you've got an assistant on the bench on the sideline and they've got an iPad and they can be looking for things and then they can be in your ear, right? telling you what they're seeing, showing you things, showing players, making adjustments. They could be tagging 
moments that they want to be able to pull up later to show at halftime, right, or any other time in the game. But imagine that in a place where you've got Pixelot cameras, imagine being able to walk into any gym, connect to the school Wi-Fi in the gym, and pull that Pixelot feed into your iPad. It's pretty amazing, pretty powerful, right? And then if you don't have Pixelot and you need to go to other locations, other places, and you still want to have that functionality, we've got kits that you can use, right, to do that. Here's a, a picture of what, what I'm talking about kind of looks like, right? So imagine you've got the cord here, Pixelot cameras up top, and there's a Wi-Fi hotspot. It might be in the gym already, right? Or maybe it's a kit that you needed to buy from us because maybe you're going to a gym that doesn't have it. But now it gives you the ability to connect to that Wi-Fi and you can pull the Pixelot feed right in, pull it up on your iPad locally and use that feed instantaneously. So imagine that. Imagine how powerful that would be. And then when you hop on a bus, I hop on an airplane, you've got that video recorded on the iPad. So you could be sitting there offline on a plane, 30,000 feet in the air, working on that, using it, getting what you need done. I wanted to show this last picture here. This is a great view of, it's football, but this is a, some real live examples of football coaches using our, our replay system during the game. They've got a big old TV on the sideline during the game, coaches using it here in the press box, right? But just imagine now as, as basketball coaches, your ability to be able to use video during the game is here, right? And you can start to adjust your workflows of, maybe how you're using that information right at your fingertips. So, so that's it for me today, everybody. Uh, I really appreciate everybody watching. If there's many people watching here, this is one of my first experiments into doing some live broadcasting here on multiple different platforms. So we're going to keep doing this. Uh, every so often here and keep experimenting with this and I'm going to keep pumping out more videos on all the different features and things that we're doing for not just basketball but we do it for everybody we do it for football we do it for soccer for volleyball field hockey ice hockey lacrosse baseball softball we do it all and again again my name is Alex you can go to the website go to vitswap.com okay go to the site uh let me uh, pull my screen back up here. So go to the site, go to vidswap.com. You can sign up for a demo. You can talk to one of my guys, have a demonstration, learn more about what we do, see if it's a right fit, see if it's going to help you. Because that, that's, again, what we want to do. I want to help you, right? I want to help you save time. I want to give you back your time. I want to give you time to spend with your family. I want to give you more time to go play catch with your son. I want to give you more time to go spend time with your wife, your husband. I want to give you that time back to be able to do that side business that you've been itching to be able to do. I want to give you back your time. Imagine that. Okay. Imagine all the possibilities of what I want to help you with and give that to you. Okay. Thanks again, everybody. I appreciate your time.